The Woven City of Japan Japan is a country known for its technological innovation and advancement. The country has used its technological abilities to establish its stance globally, and many people revere and love Japan. Just having a good now shouldn't mean you should not prepare for tomorrow, and that is what Japan is trying to do – build a better and more sophisticated tomorrow. On building a better tomorrow, the country has embarked on a series of futuristic projects, one of which is the smart Toyota Woven City, the first programmable city. Welcome back to our channel, Build to Innovate. In today's video, we will discuss Japan's massive smart city project that runs into millions of dollars. We will show you the futuristic prospects of this city, the amount it will take, the planners, and most importantly, how it will affect the people of Japan and the world after its creation. Many countries are embarking on how to rebrand and refurbish their futures, especially making the lives of their citizens easier and more enjoyable. Countries like Canada, the USA, and Saudi Arabia are at the forefront of developing their countries with futuristic and advanced technology. Japan also is not lacking, as they have something worth billions planned for their citizens, and the name of their plan is the Woven City. On February 23rd at 11 a.m., Toyota Motor Corporation, Toyota, and Woven Planet Holdings Inc., the Toyota Group company in charge of a variety of software-based mobility development projects, held a groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of Woven City at the old vehicle yard next to the former Higashi Fuji plant site of Toyota Motor East Japan. Toyota president Akio Toyoda, Woven Planet CEO James Kufner, TMEJ president Kasuhiro Miyauchi, and other project participants attended the ceremony together with Shizuoka Prefecture Governor Eita Kawakatsu, Mayor Kenji Takamura of Susono City, and other visitors representing the neighborhood. The leaders united in their wishes for a secure start to constructing the Woven City. The Woven City, as Toyota has named it, will provide a proving ground for innovations in robots, smart homes, and artificial intelligence. These technologies will be tested and developed on a starting population of roughly 360 inventors, elderly people, and families with young children. Toyota has not yet disclosed the selection process for these initial inhabitants, and an inquiry for more information from Insider was not promptly answered by a spokeswoman. More than 2,000 Toyota employees and their families, retired couples, retailers, visiting scientists, and business partners are anticipated to eventually call the Woven City home. Robotic devices and AI powered by sensors will be installed in the smart homes to help with daily tasks. According to BIG, this will entail replenishing the refrigerator, removing the trash, and examining the resident's well-being. Therefore, living in this environment will make you feel like doing things oneself is a thing of the past. According to the business, when these individuals move into the woven city, they will do so in smart homes, equipped with in-home robotic systems to help with everyday tasks, and sensor-based artificial intelligence to monitor health and take care of other essential needs. On the ground level of woven city, three streets will be intertwined one for autonomous driving, one for persons using personal mobility vehicles, and one for pedestrians. Toyota wants to create an accessible and sustainable linked mobility ecosystem. Three different areas will be included in the concept. For high-speed vehicles, one will be specifically constructed as Mount Fuji. For low-speed vehicles, such as bicycles, personal mobility devices, and pedestrians, and for pedestrians only, a third area will resemble a park. An organic grid pattern will be created by weaving these three regions together. The goal of such a concept is to hasten the testing of autonomous and hydrogen-powered vehicles. The city's inhabitants, who serve as test subjects, will only drive autonomous or hydrogen-powered cars, and they will be permitted only on the main streets designated for high-speed cars. To reduce the city's carbon footprint, practically every building will be made of wood. Traditional Japanese woodwork will serve as the foundation for the structure and incorporate robotic production techniques. Every rooftop will have solar panels and photovoltaic panels installed to produce electricity from the sun and hydrogen fuel cells for sustainable energy. However, hydrogen fuel cells will primarily accomplish power generation for the entire city. The city's exterior landscape will feature hydroponically grown native plants. In addition, 
There will be parks in the neighborhoods and a sizable central park. There will also be a central plaza built for social meetings. The rationale behind this is that Toyota claims it intends to include native vegetation and hydroponics, a technique for growing plants without soil, across the city. In Woven City, all of the residents, structures, and moving objects are supposed to be able to communicate with one another via embedded sensors and real-time data. Toyota will be able to test out cutting-edge AI technology in the real world, with little risk thanks to this link. Toyota claims that encouraging human connection is a primary theme of the city, despite the planned high-tech residences, but it has not yet provided details on how it intends to do so. The city's design is the work of renowned Danish architect Bjarke Ingels, who also designed Google's headquarters in California and London, and the two World Trade Centers in New York City. And we all know that these buildings are exceptional ones. This means we should expect some great designs from Bjark Ingels in the next few years. A very amazing feature of this smart city is that Toyota is building the sensor-laden woven city from the ground, making the city custom-built for autonomous vehicles. In 2040, more than 33 million autonomous vehicles are expected to be sold globally, according to experts. Yet even the most advanced self-driving cars today still need human supervision. Cities must be completely linked to connect vehicles to vast volumes of data in order for autonomous vehicles to be widely used. That information, which might include anything from weather patterns to cycling behaviors, can be provided to cars by sensors and cameras dispersed throughout roadways, traffic lights, and buildings. Once they have the information, autonomous vehicles can analyze it and use it to safely navigate the city. Because contemporary cities aren't currently organized this way, Toyota is constructing its sensor-filled woven city from the ground up. The new neighborhood will allow the automobile manufacturer to test out a whole new municipal infrastructure to develop safer technologies. Toyota's self-driving electric e-pallets will be used for delivery, mobile retail, and transportation across the city. Artist mock-ups of the woven city, which is still in the conceptual phase, depict people walking through streets and parks lined with trees and the occasional automobile. However, its main function is to serve as a real-world testing ground for new technologies, especially software and how it interacts with hardware. The three main ideas that guide Woven City are human-centered, a living laboratory, and ever-evolving. Additionally, Woven City serves as a testing ground for mobility. Woven City is a location where everyone can test their new services and goods, just like Toyota tests automobiles at their test tracks. This implies that the city will never be finished since it will always be undergoing Kaizen as it works to promote the well-being of various types of people. The first phase of the project, which will open in 2024 or 2025, will contain the infrastructure required for its initial occupants. As the year runs, so is the idea of the woven city coming to life. There have been a number of noteworthy things that have taken place as regards the development of this futuristic smart city. First off, Woven Planet purchased Lyft's Level 5 business in April 2021 in order to hasten the software development for automated driving mobility. Enios Corporation, Japanese energy and materials firm, and Woven City have agreed to test a hydrogen-based supply chain from manufacture through distribution and usage. The trial will take place in and surrounding Woven City. Woven Alpha and Isusu and Hino signed a contract in June to use its automated mapping platform, which includes high-definition, data-rich maps to assist high-accuracy localization for automated driving vehicles. Woven Capital also made its first investment in Neuro, a Silicon Valley-based firm that develops robotic delivery systems. The investment was made as a part of a Series C round of funding for the company's electric self-driving vehicle design and engineering. We should also note that at Woven City, innovators are in great demand, and the developers are eager to speak with possible collaborators in a variety of industries, such as education, agriculture, energy, and mobility. The project team declares, we are building a broad spectrum of solutions 
and are conscious that the correct partners and partnerships are vital to our success. Please get in touch with us if you share our goal and are interested in working together. We would be delighted to work with you. We hope you enjoyed the video. For more content on futuristic developments all around the world, do not forget to like, subscribe and click on that notification bell so you never miss any of our content. Until next time, take care.